Hey everyone, it's me Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to get through the Ishodag Shrine, which is nicknamed a Windy Device. This can be found basically southwest of Hyrule Castle, in the Hyrule Field section of the map. Alright, so once you are inside of the shrine, you are immediately given a Zonai fan. And I'm going to completely botch this for a second and attempt to just chuck it over there and hope that it works. But that's not what you got to do. What you have to do is you have to take out your Ultra Hand. Rotate the fan by holding R and then pressing down on the D-pad. Make it so it's facing up. Hit it. And then jump into it and press X again to bring out your paraglider in the wind stream. And then you can float up here. Alright, in this next area, you are really supposed to make a raft, but you don't really have to do that. Instead, you could just place the fan in the same position towards the edge of the uh, platform here. And then you could just jump into the wind stream and float on over. So that's what I'm going to do. But you're really supposed to make a raft. But this is just a little faster, I think. All right, so place it down. Hit it. And then jump into the wind stream and float on over. Now, being completely honest with you, I did not see that there was a wooden plank to build a boat until I was just speaking and making this video. So this is what I really did. I did not know that a boat was even possible until this moment. In any event, you want to swim over to the other side or once your boat lands, you want to come over here and then you are going to pick up one of the fans on this platform and then attach it to the top of this seesaw platform on the same side as the chest. So you want to turn it on, attach it up here, and then what will happen is it will actually blow it down. This way you can then reach the top of that platform using this other fan. Just, you know, put it horizontal so you can jump into it just as we've done in the past couple challenges here. Drop it, turn it on, jump into the wind stream, and then you'll have access to this platform. You do need to keep that fan blowing in order for it to stay uh, horizontal. Otherwise, the chest will weigh the platform down. All right, after you do that, it is now time to reach the top. And again, I'm not 100% sure if this is the intended solution, but this is the solution I went with. So what we're gonna do is we are going to actually use the rewind function of our powers. You're gonna place a fan inside of the basket, face it up, and then you want to turn it on. This way the wind is blowing. Then you're gonna take the ultra hand again and you are going to lift the platform up, hold it there for a second, let it drop back down, and then rewind time. This way the platform goes back up on its own. And you wanna jump in the basket, and then jump and ride the wind gust up. Again, I have no idea if that's the intended solution, but that's what worked for me. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.